All right. So task three, what were your requirements? It's about the uh, website setup and security, diba? Right? So let me try to take a look at the requirements. So your requirements is slide one, the domain name of your MSME website. So basically, you're just gonna type the domain name. Okay, no more, no screenshots here. For slide two, you need the web hosting showing your where uh, where your MSME account is. So mo na siya tong buhaton karon. Um, what you're going to do is type the URL of your MSME and then add cPanel because cPanel is where you can find your hosting details. All right. So once you enter cPanel. It will redirect and then it will ask you to log in. So you log in and what you see here is what you will screenshot. Okay? So everything here, Kanishanga area where they can see the user, the primary domain, Kanasha mo screenshot ninyo. Right, so that's your. Slide number two. Okay. Clear? My questions? Now it says here, WooCommerce activated. This is now for slide three and four. WooCommerce activated. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so it says WooCommerce activated, meaning to say you will need to log in on your WordPress. So, to log in in your WordPress, you don't use cPanel, you use WP Admin. So, enter. Right, so I'm redirected because I'm already logged in. Right? So, now you need to go to WooCommerce. This is slide 3 and 4. You click it. So by this time, I assume you already have um, placed in or input the details of your customer, especially the shipping and the payments because it's required. Once you install the plugin, it will require you to input those information. So if you would look at settings, it's here, your shipping and payments. But I suggest that part of your screenshot, you will also include the dashboard, this one. Okay, so just to prove that your WooCommerce is already um, installed, ito, you will also screenshot that part. Okay? Next, your settings. So your general settings, you input all your address, currency, make sure that's all correct. So since this is slide 3 and 4, you can also screenshot this one on slide 3. Two screenshots on slide 3. So now on slide 4, you will prioritize your shipping and payments. So let's go to shipping. So it says here, Philippines. Um, Divine already set this up. So merong Philippines and then flat rate. So how much rate did you add here? Let's, let me take a look. So you charge a flat rate of how much? 250. Okay. So since you're done with the shipping, I'll go back to the shipping tab. And then you will screenshot that. Slide 4. Also on slide 4, yana lang siya, tapad lang silang screenshot. You will also need to screenshot your payment options. So here, she activated direct bank transfer, cash on delivery. Ideally, you should also have PayPal and PayPal checkout. So you have PayPal checkout, but you don't have PayPal. Yes. Do they accept check payments? Have you asked your customer if they accept checks? So you ask them. So in case they are accepting checks, you will need to set this up. Right? 
So once everything is done here, you will screenshot that part also. Right. So you're done with slide 3 and 4. Now slide 5, it says word friend. Word fence, your setup for word fence. Let's go to word fence. Okay, so she has word friends, uh, word fence here. Click it or click the dashboard if it doesn't load. Yeah. So the important thing here is to show that you configured it correctly. So on firewall. Let's try to click manage firewall because it's just 48. Maybe we can still increase that. It will ask for premium. We will check the settings. Try to see if you can still optimize. I guess not. So go back to word fence dashboard. So since it's already here, you can see that it's um, activated. You will screenshot that part. That one. Okay. So next. Six to nine. This is where we need another session, I guess. Creating page and product. I've included that on the last video. About how to add a post. I've included that. Um, have you installed this one, Divine? Backup. Okay. What did you use? Updraft. Okay. So plugins. Installed plugins. Nasa settings na siya. Sige, sige. So it's under settings and saan? Updraft. You will also need this for the last slide. So, bale from here, we skip the products and pages and posts. We're gonna show that later on. So, we'll go to backup. That this is the last slide. And you're gonna show that you have a backup and that you have a scheduled backup. Okay? So, show minimize from kita tanan. So here, you can see that there is a backup and then you have a scheduled backup. That's what you're going to screenshot on your last slide. Alright? So there's one part here where it's not mentioned as a requirement, but we need to add that, which is adding users. So to add users, you click on users. And then, um, Divine already added three herself and then a client and myself so i'm gonna add miss janet to demo how to add so you click add new and the username can be the name of their email para consistent i'm trying to add janet so you will add the same information later if you want to add the first name Last name, this is not required, but you can add it. And then make sure that you choose administrator. Okay. And then click add new user. Okay, so now she's added. Um, you will screenshot this. And add this after your um, hosting setting after your screenshot of the cPanel. So, kibale okay, slide 3. Right. Slide 3. After the hosting. So, slide 3. Because 1 is your domain name, 2 is your hosting. So, 3. Add this as 3. And then the rest move down na lang. Okay. So, I'll end the recording here because we'll do another one for the products and the pages okay